What does ancient Greek philosophy, Vedic philosophy, and mindfulness principles all have in common when it comes to how we pursue our goals? Well, let's first begin with the ancient Greeks. The Stoics had an expression called dio valente, which loosely translates as if fate will have it. It was a qualifier that they would add at the end of each sentence representing something that they wanted to do. So, I will travel the world if fate will have it. I will lead an army if fate will have it. And far from being a passive expression, leaving the entire responsibility of your success to fate, what this phrase actually indicated is that yes, it's important to set lofty goals. Our goals give us a sense of direction. But once we have set the goal, we forget about the goal and turn our attention to what is within our control, which is the set of actions we can take to get to wherever it is that we would like to get to. And the final outcome, we leave to fate. We find the same idea in the Bhagavad Gita as well, which talks about karma yoga as performing your actions without an attachment to the final result. The opposite of that, of course, is when we become goal obsessed and start asking, am I there yet? How far away am I from reaching my goal? And we're constantly looking at where we are and where we would like to be. And that gap then becomes a significant source of stress and anxiety. And you almost feel incomplete until you close that gap. In mindful goal setting, on the other hand, we pick and set uh, a meaningful goal, but then almost immediately we turn our attention to what is the set of tasks or actions you must undertake to reach that goal. And you then shine the spotlight of the mind entirely on the task at hand. This way, my measure of success as well as my measure of happiness is did I show up fully today to do what I must do? And if I did, then every day I get to celebrate, every day I get to feel complete rather than leave that celebration to a point in the distant future. And to the rest, I say, Dio Valente, if fate will have it. So the final question I leave with you is, what is a goal that is meaningful to you? And how can you focus less on the outcome and more on the actions you can take every day.